Guys, we are almost done with season two. Like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. Episode nine, Blackwater. So we're rooting for Stannis, man, because he's the rightful heir, though, right? I mean, but, like, who's the rightful heir? Really, we should be rooting for Daenerys if you want to play that route. Yeah, but who had the throne before the Targaryens? Do we know that? I think we do. I think I just would fail the trivia test right now. Dude, I'm excited. Let's go, man. Two more episodes of this season. I'm like... I, like, hate Theon. Guys, so far, my opinion of this show is it is one of the, like, craziest things I've ever seen put together. It's nuts. Like, there's on there's, TV, there's, it's no, there's no doubt about that. Not really sure why I'm so invested, but I am. I guess it's just like, hate such a motivator, right? Because I want Rob to win so bad. I want Rob to win so bad. You want Rob to get his independence, and you want Stannis to win against the Lannisters, right? No, I don't know if I want Stannis to win, because he, he kind of has some witchcraft. He's doing some, like, of the devil's work. Or is it? I don't know. It seems like it. They're trying to burn people. <laughs> what a great city. Never was and never will be. Oh, Blackwater. Stannis? Stannis the Manus. That's what everyone says in the comment. Stannis the Manus? Mm hmm. Onion Knight. Oh, wow. I would hate to fall in there. Dang, they kind of got a lot of ships. They're going to run into each other. Oh, well, I guess, yeah. Didn't he gain Renly's people? So I get it. Oof. I'm just nervous, man, because there's going to be a ground invasion of King's Landing. That can't be overstated. You know, it's not as simple as they're just going to meet now, like in an open field. He's attacking the city. I know. All the soldiers are going to be <coughs> sick. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna feel better. I feel like him. That's how many here. Tides against us. Oh, his son's right, fighting? The wind. Should blow us straight to the gates. You're coming home? King's Landing hasn't been home for 20 years. I spent most of my life dodging the Royal Fleet, and now I'm sailing right at them. This is the Royal Fleet. And you're not a smuggler anymore, you're the High Captain. Oh, of course there are. Several Royal Fleets at the moment. When the sun rises, Stannis will sit on the Iron Throne, and you will be his hand. Oh, God be good. God. Father, there is only one, and he watches over us. But not over them. Over all of us. Oh, no. The people Lord of King's Landing did not choose the false king, Joffrey Baratheon. They will be glad to see his head on a spike. But first, we have to put it there. Our ships outnumber theirs ten to one. Our army outnumber theirs five to one. Those walls have never been breached. They see a stranger come to set their city on fire. This is stressful. I have faith in the Lord of Light. I have faith in Because whose head's going to be on a, st on a spike? Somebody's, right? And I have faith in my captain. I don't know who's. I don't know, this show is probably about to shock us, baby. Expectations? Pew! Ooh. Go away. I feel like I'm just like itching to get in there, you know what I'm saying? Who's this, Tyrion? Mm hmm Dang, they're approaching and they're just chilling like that. Are you afraid, my lion? The city falls. Stannis will burn every Lannister he can find. Of course I'm afraid. Didn't y'all do that to the Targaryens? Arma. I won't let them hurt you. I'm a Lannister. I don't have a choice in all this. It's not your war. It is now. You remember what you said when you met me in your tent? I should make love to you like it was your last day on this earth. Because it almost was for him. Had he not gotten knocked out? You know, I don't think you would have made it through. <laughs> when he's talking about Joffrey, about how he needs to be out on the battlefield, I'm like, eh. As you know, Your Grace, he slept the ears. It's the duty of a maester to carry out the wishes of the house he served, but also to offer guidance and counsel in times of war. Your words are always wise and measured. If you could- If anything, a maester's duties become more urgent in times of war and turmoil. I remember- She doesn't want to hear it. Well, he just a slow talker, dang. Essence of nightshade, three drops, will bring on a deep and dreamless sleep. In case she gets ten captured, drops, basically. However, I know what ten drops will bring. If I may ask. You may not. That's smart. You must have a lot of I thought she was ready to poison like I'm Sansa. Sure brave men will need your <laughs> well, soon. they'll capture you and torture you. The enemy will. True. Sometimes it's better to just, My you know, awesome. go out. Maybe. Your grace. Or maybe it's for her kids. It's they for do. everyone, yeah. She might take the whole squad out, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. But now the rain. <laughs> What's my man doing over here? <laughs> Just having a quick musical. <laughs> Is this what you do before you fight the night before? You sing folklore? I mean, I'd imagine that's what I would do. To the boys, let's go. Where'd you learn the Lannister song? Drunk Lannisters. <laughs> <laughs> and I like your nose. How many times you break it? Welcome, friends. This round's on me. Why do I feel like they're not friends? Are they at like a bar? <laughs> or like, where are they at? A brothel? <laughs> I can't really tell. I wonder who would win against those two. Mm. I got the hound, to be honest. <laughs> Don't you dare. I want Bronn to win. Why y'all so dark at this little, like... I'm quicker. 
<laughs> Your Lord is going to miss you. Dang. Is it about to go down right now? No way. Something's got to walk in and break it up. Or a bell. There you go. Say by the bell. <laughs> Brian, you got lucky. How dare you? I think the hound takes some, man. I don't know. One more drink before the war. I know one thing, though. They might need each other, so they I should know. probably chill. I should be friends. Hated the bells. What is he going to do, Hyde? Podrick, is that it? You don't know the name of every boy in town. Do you trust him? Oddly enough, I do. The map you asked for. Oh. There must be 20 miles of tunnels beneath the city. Closer to 50. The Targaryens built this city to withstand a siege and to provide escape if necessary. So the whole entire city has tunnels underneath it? 50 miles, he says. Wow. Ship, and if the ship goes down, I go with her. That is good to hear. Though I'm sure many captains say the same while their ship is afloat. Yeah. <laughs> the battle, my lord. Well, I'm not. My little birds tell me that Stannis Baratheon has taken up with the Red Priestess from Ashai. What of it? You don't believe in the old powers, my lord? Blood spells, curses, shape-shifting. What do you think? I think you believe in what you see you probably don't entirely trust me i'm not sure if i do either yeah i don't know and yet i have seen things things i wish i had not why are you talking about it right now i don't <laughs> believe i've ever told you how i was cut oh geez are we about to find out <laughs> no i don't believe you have one day i will what if y'all die today? For a man in service to such powers to sit on the Iron Throne, I can think of nothing worse. I believe you are the only man who can stop him. Tyrion? Yeah, why? Did Padre just give him a pickaxe? I don't know, but I'll be honest, guys, I'm really happy I didn't hear this story. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't <laughs> trying to hear that right now. Oh, that was probably crazy right before this battle. Oh my god, look at them approaching. Crazy. I can't believe he's fighting alongside his son. They're welcoming the new king. I've never known bells to mean surrender. They want to play music with us, let's play. <laughs> I would feel motivated to fight with us. You know, that's exactly what I was in thinking. Did you grab like your pitchfork or whatever and be like... I don't know what the heck they're about to fight with. Magic wand or something? <laughs> Remember, wait until the ships, the are, ships are in the bay. They must be far enough in so I they know won't what get. Mean. Do you know how to use that? Chop wood once. No, I watched my brother chopping wood. I saw <laughs> you kill a man with a shield. You'll be unstoppable with an axe. <laughs> Like Gimli. Don't get killed. Nor you, my friend. Are we friends now? Just because I pay you for your services doesn't diminish our friendship. <laughs> enhances it, really. Oh, enhances. <laughs> fancy word for a sellsword. Been spending time with fancy folks. You just gotta love Bronn, right? Right, some of that education rubbed off on him. <laughs> King Joffrey sent for me to see him off. Wow. <laughs> Sansa, come here! <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I will pray for your safe return, my lord. Just as I prayed for the kings. <laughs> So not at all. Why does she hate him, though? Because he's a Lannister. <laughs> Your king rides forth to battle. You should see him off with a kiss. My new blade. Heart Eater, I've named it. Heart, Heart Eater. eater. <laughs> kiss it. I thought he was going to be like, you kiss know. it again when I return and taste my uncle's blood. Will you slay him yourself? Stannis is fool enough to come near me. <laughs> so you'll be outside the gates fighting in the vanguard. A king doesn't discuss battle plans with stupid girls. They say my brother Rob always goes where the fighting is thickest, and he's only a pretender. <laughs> Your brother's turn will come. Then you can lick his blood off Heart Eater too. She said he's only a pretender. She's getting kind of bold, but I kind of right, like it. Right, you feel it? I kind of like it, though, even though it scares me. You know, I'm glad that she's getting bold, though, because that just means that something has to give, you know? She tried to send Joffrey off to the slaughter, didn't she? The worst ones always win. From Sansa's perspective, it'd be a miracle if Joffrey died on the back. I know, she's like, can you please go to the vanguard, please? <laughs> Was that Lancel? Poor guy. <laughs> oh, he's scared already. He looks so stressed out. That Cersei's side piece. Where's our fleet? On the way. Hound, tell the hand that his king has asked him a question. King has asked you a question. <laughs> Lance, tell the hound to tell the king that the hand is extremely busy. If I tell the hound to cut you in half, you'll do without a second thought. <laughs> that would make me the quarter man. Just doesn't have the same ring to it. Cut me in half wow. and I won't be able to give the signal. No signal, no plan. No plan and Stannis Baratheon sacks the city, takes the Iron Throne, puts your pinched little head atop a gate somewhere. <laughs> Inch. Might be quite amusing. I really hope he doesn't kill him one day. Where are their ships? It was wise to attack at night. We took them by surprise. What Varys knows what you had for breakfast three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> so their sailors aren't out there. And Joffrey's confused too. We're all confused why their sailors aren't out there. They ain't about to catapult that stuff. There's no way. She's always saying how stupid I am. She hates me. Maybe she's jealous of you. She'd be jealous. Sansa. Oh no. That's not how you want to hear at your time of death. You look pale, child. Is your red flower still blooming? Fitting, isn't it? Men will bleed out there and you will bleed in here. Poor Lady Sansa, some wine. I'm not thirsty, Your Grace. So, I didn't offer you water. 
<laughs> Who is that dude? Sir Ellen. He's the guy with no tongue. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one they cut his tongue out. When the axe has smashed down those doors, you may be glad to have him. But we have guards to defend us. Guards we have paid. Should the city fall, they'll be the first ones out of the doors. Oh, True. wow. So they hired extra sell swords? Mm -hmm. The lads caught a groom and two maids trying to sneak away with a stolen horse and some gold cups. Have Sir Ellen see to them. Put their heads on spikes outside the stables as a warning. Oh, God. Man, she doesn't even think about it, does she? Like, she's so disconnected from, like... <laughs> The humanitarian part of it. You said he was here to protect us. Traitors are a danger to us all. More wine. I'm scared she laced it with that stuff. Yeah, but not yet. She's not going to do that until the city falls. I thought the city's falling. No, when the enemy's beating down the door, that's when you take that. Hold fast. What are you doing? We need to attack them. There's only one ship. Where are the rest of them? I kind of wish Joffrey would just shut up. I'm sure a lot of people feel that way. There's only one ship. Burn them below! Look! Oh, set! Draw! Oh my gosh. There's no one on board. Oh my god, what, what if it has that be? stuff on it? What if it has that stuff on it? The explosives. Oh, the wildfire stuff? What if, if they hit it, they're all gonna die. <gasps> oh, that's that stuff. Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god. Stand clear! Oh, so that stuff was leaking it. Bronze about to pull the trigger on it? Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's green. Oh no. His son. Is that Stannis? I was about to say, where's Stannis? Where's Stannis? Oh my God, everyone's dead. Even Sir Bravos is dead. Davos. Davos, I'm tripping. Even Sir Davos is dead, bro. Bron did that. Good shot, Bron. Oh, Sir Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. They had no idea that was coming. I had no idea that was coming. Tyrion's low-key a master at warfare. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it was a really simple plan. It just worked. I know, but he he did all this behind the scene. Remember, Cersei was doing it for some reason. Maybe the same reason. I don't know. There's no way that took out the whole fleet, though, right? Is that Stannis? Like, I'm so confused. Is Stannis gone, too? I didn't see him. I, I don't know. Oh, there, there he is. is. What are you gonna do, Stannis? That's a huge loss for you. So siege fail. Prepare to land. The, the battle continues. Has played his little trick. We can only play it once. We're too far from the gates. Our archers. Hundreds will die. Thousands. Oh jeez. Thousands. Stannis the manist. You think it's because that uh, Melisandre doesn't talk them up? Yeah, she's probably said. The Lord of the Light will be there when you need it. Take him on. He will guide you to victory. <laughs> Good night is full of terrors or whatever she says. Oh my god. I just feel like this is a bad idea for you. Not one person out there is a realist. They're in there juggling. Cersei's getting trash. Sansa's praying to the old gods. Sansa, come here, little. I would be like, please just leave me alone. I'm gonna go fight. I'm actually gonna go fight. My queen. Queen Regent. <laughs> You're perfect, aren't you? <laughs> 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 what are you praying for? the gods to have mercy on us all. On all of us. Except you. Even me. I'd have left you out. And yeah. Mm -mm. Definitely him. Joffrey is my... Oh, own. shut up, you little fool. The gods have no mercy. That's why they're gods. My father told me that when he caught me praying. My mother had just died, you see. I didn't really understand the concept of death. You do now. You love it. I thought that if I prayed very, very hard, gods would return my mother to me. Your father doesn't believe in the gods. He believes in them. He just doesn't like them very much. <laughs> One for her. I mean, I would never listen to anything Cersei has to say. Like, she's poison. Especially when she's drunk. <laughs> I'd rather face a thousand swords than be shut up inside with this flock of frightened hens. You asked them here. It was expected of me. <laughs> <laughs> she's explaining herself. <laughs> if my wretched brother should somehow prevail, these hens will return to their cocks and crow of how my courage inspired, lifted their spirit. And if the city should fall, you'd like that, wouldn't you? The Dang. red keep should hold for a time, long enough for me to go to the walls and yield to Lord Stannis in person. I'd have a better chance of seducing his horse. She's so confused. <laughs> Tears aren't a woman's only weapon. The best ones between your legs. Drink. Mm. Sounds like this advice. If the city falls, these fine women should be in for a bit of a rape. You'll be glad of your red flower then. Precious thing like you will look very, very good. A slice of cake just waiting to be eaten. 
She's creeping me out. Just in case you didn't hate her enough, guys. I was like, if I was on side, I'd be like, give me that carafe. I'm chugging it if you're going to talk like this. Yeah, I'd be like, you're kind of grody, bro. <laughs> How about you just shut if up? If these are our final moments, out. why are these the words you're saying? Right, seriously. Wow. It's a serious man, Stannis Baratheon. He really is. They're coming ashore. <laughs> Duh. Rain fire on them. Archers! They're too many. Hound, form a welcome party for any Baratheon <laughs> troop that manages to touch solid ground. Run to the king's gate. Bring any men guarding it here now. Dang, Tyrion's given order. I like it. He's kind of in charge, really, if you think about it. Which is crazy. <laughs> There's no one in this whole entire city who can like do a better job than Tyrion. They're all at war somewhere else. <laughs> yeah, no. There's too many wars to fight. Well, <laughs> Joffrey he started some type this. Of light. Who who is he taking counsel in? Bron? Bron's sort of like Tyrion's hand right now in a way. Mm -hmm. His assistant. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not doubting Tyrion, you know. It's just that I don't really see him to be a warrior. He didn't... Didn't he just he get introduced books. to the idea of strategy? <laughs> yeah, but he's killing it. He's proven to be good. What is Stannis' plan, though, now? Just to go attack Joffrey? To go take the city? Yeah, go cut the king's head off. And park his butt right there on that throne. Oh, my gosh. This doesn't look successful at all. The thing is, I really like Stannis, but I will like Tyrion, too. I mean, I don't like Stannis. Stannis is boring. We'll never have quotes without Stannis. We shall see. <laughs> he said hundreds will die. He said thousands. <gasps> <laughs> if he died by a boulder, I would be so annoyed. I want to see Stannis take Joffrey on. Oh my god, they're really going in there. Lancel's like He's in the vanguard. In He's in the vanguard. Dude, I got a little more respect for him. He throws down in Cersei's bed and on the battlefield. Lord. Oh, oh my god. Is he gonna die? Uh-uh, I really hope not. <gasps> oh, he did. Oh, he no. got shot. I'm actually kind of sad about that one for some reason. Young, Jamie and I, we looked so much alike, even our father couldn't tell us apart. <laughs> like, that makes it worse. Jamie was taught to fight with sword and lance and mace. Look at that little son. He was heir to Casterly Rock, and I was sold to some stranger like a horse. You were Robert's queen, and you will be Joffrey. <laughs> like, Sansa's She's... just not getting it, is she? <laughs> mm -mm. She's just mind blown that this position isn't all it's cracked up to be. Or I know, it's not like rainbows and butterflies right. all the time. She thought she was about to be like Princess Peach or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst cuts I've ever seen. Here, it's not difficult. I mastered it when I was four. <laughs> Straighten your back and bend. Better. You learn fast. I wonder if How I can do that. have you been in Lady Sansa's service? A few weeks. When did you leave Laura? Laura? When did you come to Westeros? Many years ago, Your Grace. From Larathi Commoner to the Red Keep, all without learning how to curtsy. Sus. What's your name? Shay, Your Grace. This is not good. When I was 13, I... Hundreds of ships are burning, maybe more. Stannis' fleet destroyed, but his troops have landed outside the city walls. Where is Joffrey? Bring him back inside at once. Not here. With the women and children, do you want him to be mocked as a coward for the rest of his life? <laughs> oh my. I don't think she gets it. Like, he was just out there, he took an arrow. <laughs> right, that's what I'm there thinking. You want to hear the truth? You want to know why he's really here? He's here for us. Stannis may take the city, he may take the throne, but he will not take us alive. Oh. What a shot. And he's kind of lucky because now he doesn't have to deal with that. <laughs> bows to bros. So now you want, I? What if they do the back to back sword fight? Oh, where they're, where they're like back to back circling with each other? <laughs> Dang, how do you even have time to have a moment? Are they pushing them back? <gasps> they're having to fall back? That's not good. Oh, jeez. Stannis is like front. <laughs> he's like not, he's not afraid. Robert told him to hold up uh, that place for with 50 men or whatever, and he did it. No way, they're breaching the walls. Oh my gosh. Oh, Stannis is out there, ain't he? Look at him. Oh my. He's a Baratheon. He can fight. He's a Baratheon. He can't fight. <laughs> Where's Joffrey at? Running. Who's got time to bring him a drink? Water break. You don't understand. Bring me wine. I mean, at least swallow it. <laughs> Why did he take it out like a grenade? Can I get you some ice milk? You're on the wrong side of the wall. I lost half of my men. Dog, I command you to go back out there and fight. Bad dog. Oh, he just disobeyed an order. Guard, Clegane. We must beat them back if they're going to take this city. Fuck the king's guard. 
<laughs> oh my the god. Fuck the king. Yeah, what you gonna do about it, Joffrey? He said, do something about Joffrey it. Joffrey said, oh. He, he almost looked like he wanted to go tattle to his mama, didn't he? I know. I'm gonna go tell Sussy on you. I mean, if Joffrey was just like a young boy who couldn't really fight, everyone would still like fight to death for him if he was a good king, you know? Oh. oh Look at that. That's crazy, ain't it? Oh, they got boulders in junk too. So where's the underground stuff? Where are y'all gonna do that? sent me to bring you back to the red keep man i swear i would just have to stab joffrey right now what would you have me do lead get down there and lead your people against the invaders who want to kill them what did my mother say exactly did she have urgent business with me <laughs> 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 stay with my uncle and represent the king on the field of battle you little i can't even say it word i mean yeah joffrey's a <laughs> <ain't he? laughs> like, jesus christ he's such a rat Sorry for cussing, but geez, man. He's all talk when someone else can cut someone's head off. And I mean, I know what you guys are thinking. Like, I don't want to go lead a war against these dudes either. But you know what? I'm not out here chopping people's heads off for no reason. I feel like, yeah, you're right. He kind of has to be out there for people to respect him or they're just going to be throwing um, manure at him in the streets. I, yeah. I'll lead the attack. Whoa. Tyrion? Tyrion? He's about to lead the attack. They say I'm half a man. But what does that make the laws of you? <laughs> the only way out is through the gates. And they're at the gates. There's another way out. I'm going to show you. Come out behind them and f*** them in their asses. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they got behind that? They're like, yeah. I mean, sounds like a good plan. <laughs> Don't fight for his kingdoms. Don't fight for riches because he won't get any. <laughs> They're all for me. It will be your houses he burns. Your women he will rape. Protect this house. Those are brave men knocking at our door. Let's go kill them. <laughs> hey, that was a dope speech. Isn't that the second speech Tyrion's had a war speech? <laughs> <laughs> right, but that, hey, that one was nice. He had one with Shaga. <laughs> you think he's gonna make it through this one conscious? Let's go, Tyrion. All right, Tyrion, do not get knocked out, bro. Battle is lost, Your Grace. When the gold cloaks saw the king leaving, they lost all heart. Where is my son? I want to escort him back to the battle. Why do I care what you want? Bring me now. Up. Listen to me. We oh! Oh! oh my gosh! Don't be afraid. Joffrey's not hurt. He's fighting bravely. They will save the city. Should we sing a hymn? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good queen move right there. Gentle. You must go. Run to your chamber. Everyone got distracted. <laughs> they're, just, they're just all funny. <laughs> Look, they didn't even notice she left. She Everyone's started all in it. Conversation. Is that the thing Ned got her? The lady's starting to panic. What are you doing here? Not here for long. What are you doing here? I'm going. Where? Some place that isn't burning. North might be. What about the king? He can die just fine on his own. He said, I retire. I give up on this guy. I can take you with me. Take you to Winterfell. I'll keep you safe. He's kind of scary, though. To be honest, man, I'm, I really might take that deal, though. Dude, he, he can just me. get me outside those city walls, man. Yeah, right. I'll be safe here. Oh, you crazy as You'll hell. You'll be safe there. <laughs> Look at me. Stannis is a killer. The Lannisters are killers. Your father was a killer. Your brother is a killer. We all killers. Killer, killer, killers. <laughs> the world is built by killers, so you better get used to looking at them. You won't hurt me. She's got a little Catelyn in her, don't she? No, little bird, I won't hurt you. I don't know, bro. You say that right now, what if you're in a bad mood? What would you do, baby? You staying or going? I don't know. It depends on what kind of weapons I have. I know one thing. I'm going to get like far away from the war. I'm leaving. For sure. There's really no good reason to stay there. Come on, you bastard! Get on those ladders! <gasps> That was Tyrion. They didn't even see him coming. Uh -oh. They're too busy looking at the people that are eyesight. Tyrion, the king of uh, King's Landing, or the king of the Seven Kingdoms. I mean, he's the he's the warrior in the family. They defeat the Baratheons. Y'all thought it was Jamie. <laughs> Half man. That's his war chant. Remember? They always say it to him. Like not one dude out there has an ego. Oh my god. <laughs> Cause he's he's in the vanguard. <laughs> <laughs> he is the vanguard. <laughs> Stannis is getting overwhelmed up there. Okay, honestly though, if Stannis, oh, oh my god. god, if Stannis makes it past all these people, he kind of deserves to be king, dude. He's fighting hard for that. Oh no. 
<gasps> Whoa! Oh, his Padre. squire. What's his name? Padre. Yeah. See, I'm being, I'm getting better with the names, guys. See. <gasps> oh. Is he dead? They scarred him up. What the heck is this woman doing? They're still fighting. No one's going to hurt you. I'll tell you a story. In the Kingswood, there lived a mother and her cub. She loved him very much. But there were other things that lived in the woods. Evil things. Like what? The starts of the Baratheons. No, like Cersei's and Joffrey's. My lord. Let's go Tyrion. Howling in the night. Is that his dad? Is that Tywin? He's on that white horse. Oh, Stannis looks scared. For one day, all the beasts will bow to you. You will be king. All the stags will bow. All the wolves will bow. The bears in the north. And the foxes of the south. What's his name? Tommen or something? All the birds or in Thomas? the sky and the beasts in the sea. They will all come to you, little lion, to rest a crown upon your head. It's hard to see who's who, except for you know Lannisters are on the horses, right? <gasps> no. <gasps> oh my goodness. I will keep you safe. Uh-uh. Oh, or is Tyrell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say it's a Tyrell. So the Tyrells came to help him? Or to hurt him. There They're right fighting there. with the Lannisters. Oh my gosh. The battle is over. We have won. Oh my god. I mean, I didn't want that kid to die, but geez, dude, I thought this witch was about to get it. Not yet. Something tells me that she will. Is this Santa singing? All right, guys, so that was Game of Thrones episode nine, Blackwater. That was nuts, man. So Stannis Baratheon finally made landfall. They breached the walls, man. And right when everything looked like it was about to just be over for Cersei and the the Lannister reign, uh, her dad comes and saves the day, man. And the last shot that we got of the series or of the episode was Stannis looking really stressed out. So, babe, yeah. what do you think about that episode? Stannis was getting captured, it seemed. And yeah, it right. seemed that the Tyrells have come to the Lannister side, which is scary because the Tyrells are known to have an army and money. So mm. if you put the Lannisters and the Tyrells together, it's probably a really rich realm. Right. Yeah, it looked like the show was sort of giving us an opportunity to move on from the from the Lannisters, really. Like, it looked like, you know, there was an opportunity to write them out and to kill some of these evil characters. But I guess we'll have to see. But right now, man, it's looking like they're here to stay. Um, I thought it was really crazy how Cersei got that poison. And you saw in the shot, she didn't really intend to drink it herself. It looked like she was mainly concerned about her child. So mm. that was pretty man, sad. That's crazy, that dude. Yeah. Um, it was really cool to see Tyrion right. step up. Uh, Joffrey had the chance to finally like prove to everyone that he was a worthy king, and he decided to run like a little girl. Yeah, so. he wet the bed, man. He uh, yeah. He basically, they he said how how important was that business that my mom <laughs> you know sent me to attend. So yeah, because. Even Lancel was like, I would like to just escort him back to battle so like everyone can feel like, you know, we're fighting for something, not a little right. weasel. Yeah. <laughs> That's all Joffrey is, is a weasel. The Hound gave Sansa an opportunity in this episode, man. And, you know, to be honest, I would have took it. But he was basically like, if you want to, me and you can walk out of here. He said, F the King's guard, you, the King. you know, I know Sansa doesn't completely trust this dude and I, you know, I get it. But man, dude, I would take that. I, I mean, wouldn't stay in with there. the city being breached, you just have no idea what's going to happen. Yeah, you don't really but have she much just choice. has full faith that Stannis isn't going to hurt her because she feels like Stannis is in good standing with Ned. Because yeah. Ned's the reason why Stannis even knew he had claim. Yeah, but maybe like maybe she won't be so lucky though. Maybe one of Stannis's soldiers. Yeah, she will just do it might before. not know. So right. e it's risky business. Yeah, it's risky way. business, man. It's not that simple. So I would leave the city and I would just send a raven to go tell Stannis, like, sorry, I fled. Gee, this is just what happened. I, you know, I was a prisoner <laughs> of war. I was a political prisoner. Um, hopefully, I can come and go. <laughs> uh, I'm open to trade. So <laughs> I'm open to trade. Um, crazy episode, man. This chunk is ramping up. So basically, I did not see. Did you see Sir Davos? No, I was about to say. I, was about I didn't to say. See. Oh I, my I God. definitely think his son didn't make it. I definitely don't think his son made it. What did I call that man in Live Time? Sir Bravos. <laughs> so dumb. Guys, so sorry. It's the, sometimes I struggle with the names. You guys know I know who I'm talking about, but it's the names. Uh, what else happened in that episode, babe? Like, basically, it was that battle that most of the time. And basically, we saw the Hound straight up just give up. Yeah. He retired. I mean, really, we didn't see anything with Daenerys. And we just saw a battle. We saw this, the attempt of a siege of King's Landing. We didn't see anything with John. fail. North of the Wall. We didn't see anything like that. Mm -mm. So, man, this was just a battle episode. Uh, yeah, man, this was just a battle episode, man. So, Stannis came. He tried to conquer. And it looks Failed. like... But, you know, at the same time, it didn't look like Stannis had a chance early in the war. And then it looked like he was, you know, winning. So, we really don't know how this is going to shape out. 
Right. Um, so sorry for all the cough man. Mrs. October has not been feeling good specifically. She's been a trooper, dude. She's really been stepping it up and she's been sick, but she hasn't complained and she's just been working and grinding. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate her. And you I don't know what to say, man. I'm so ready to get into the next episode, guys. And, and this is the season finale. It's the season finale. So thank you guys so much for rocking with us. Thank you guys so much for liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on those notifications, man. We see y'all out there. So much support on this series and it's really not hard to see why man this junk is going freaking bananas and i'm just excited to continue this journey man this is this is a treat man so yeah. no more talking episode 10 season finale let's go